Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. Back again. I took a day off yesterday to run a little tier list. You know how it goes. It's like the tier list content is always weird because I always say in all of my content I don't like tier lists, but it is a necessary evil from the perspective of like everyone wants tier lists. So I do them anyway. I try to keep them uh, acceptable. You know, I try to keep it educational and helpful. So. Uh, hopefully you found it interesting at least and if, uh, one of the other things about tier lists i find sorry real quick before i go off on my tangent this hero five turn timer no chance uh, absolutely not this guy seven hp with an on hit effect no chance i think this hero archetype the ones that come with the three turn timer and the deal bonus damage to damage targets are crazy i think these are way too strong comparatively they also pair super well with spike which is interesting but yeah, anyway, uh, it was kind of just like a spur of the moment thing. I was going, I was sitting here and I was talking in the Discord with people about Slice and Dice and I was like, you know what? I kind of feel like making a tier list. So I did, and it was fun. Just thinking, I see. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. I had fun making it. And hopefully it helps you get a grasp on things. But remember as well, I'm not always correct. You can always disagree with me and find things fun for different reasons. Someone in my Discord, when I was talking about cards, they said to me, uh, I think that I don't really care about streaking. I just like doing whatever's cool. Uh, and I went, you know what? Very fair. I hit the wave bell here because I want to Snowzooka the Goblin as soon as it spawns in, and if I don't hit the wave bell, it's kind of impossible to do that. Now, I want to go like... Hammer Porcupine, the lump hits one into Spike and dies, my hero kills the Porcupine, and then I have like three straight turns of hitting the Goblin with no issues. I'm gonna go Snowzooka here. I don't know if it makes an effective difference. I think it doesn't, but I'll do it anyway. And the only thing that's a shame about this is that you can't sync up these three deaths very easily. I guess you know what I could do? I could put three damage into my hero here. And then I can uh, hammer the snowbow on the next turn. And I'm not afraid of the, the big boss here. Nimbus isn't really all that scary. Hmm. Interesting. One, two, what's in here? Yeah, okay. So the situation here, if you want to go through it in full, is because I'm greeting for money on my hero taking three damage, I need to press redraw after the next turn. Actually, I can leave the baby snowball alive and kill the goblin here since I can't hit it more times anyway. Uh, yeah. And then Spike will take three for this. And Baby Snowbow is offset from Nimbus, which means... Well, the most important thing here is you have to press the redraw bell. Because I need to have something to stop Nimbus. Well, I guess I don't need to have something to stop Nimbus, but it helps. And then 6 damage, I'll put Junkhead. And that'll do. Yeah, and this line gives us a little extra money. We can try a little harder. I just have to hit a junk in here, and then we're good. Yeah. Nice. A little bit of extra min-maxing. I got a cup of tea with me today. Uh, it is early in my day. I just I didn't just wake up. I woke up, I made some tea. I uh, looked at my phone for a bit, you know. 95. Wow. That was good. I think that this clan has the easiest time making money at the start of the run. I also think that you could pick an early gnome, and we could see shroom mine, which would be really cool. But... I feel like going Charm has a better chance of giving me something game-changing. So I'm gonna go this way. You can go either way, though. Whatever you prefer. Zoom one? Sure. I don't mind. That's just gonna end up on a hammer, most likely. Ooh, Sunglass Chime is really good. When you talk about cards that are, like, borderline game-changing, I think Sunglass Chime is right up there. Maybe I should do an items tier list, too. I need to go through all the items real quick, I bet. Maybe. I'll think about it. Uh, let me run Sunglass Chime here. I think that it is... It, it's run-defining for sure. It's not quite as impa as impactful as the Barrage, as Gacha Pomper is, but it's pretty close. 
Uh, R.I.P. to Foxy. They got his ass. I'll play Mini Mika. I think Mini Mika is actually pretty fun and has it with sunglass chime. She has a decent chance of going crazy. Uh, okay, ready? Let me see. One thing. I need to put on the Zoomlin charm. I think that you can actually put this on the junk pretty reasonably since we have Mini Mika locked in. It's not a bad call. It let's me do this. It's like not an action you really want to take. It, it gets consumed. But I think early game, it's going to make a big difference. Although we're pretty strong in the early game, I do think that our position versus Shrudels with no spike is a bit, or with spike is a bit of a trouble. Mm, one thought, though, is if I let... Oh, but my hero goes first, don't they? Hmm. Okay. I'm actually going to let the Shrudels hit into Junkhead here. I know it's maybe a little crazy, but I think it's the right call. Because I will get all of this junk. And I'm just going to sit here and play through Mini Mika's entire... I'm just going to super scale Mini Mika, basically. I'll give her a Sun Song box, too. This is a little bit risky, perhaps. Plus five junk on turn one like this. But I think it's pretty good. I just have to have a plan for the Shrudels, which I'll go junk into... Oh, and there's a bulb head. I'll go junk into junk into Sunsong box into the Shrudels, and that'll be three, six, nine, and then three into bulb head, which is okay. Thinking about it. Do I want to do three into bulb head? Yeah, I think I will. And then we go three, six, nine, three here, two to puffball, all of which is fine. Again, you go to zero, you go first. No big issue there. This dies, and then I could have my hero kill Bulbhead. I think what I'm going to do, actually, because this is 12 damage, it's enough to one-shot Veil the Lady. I could go for big multi-kills. I'd rather hit the Goblin twice, or I guess once. Uh, this run, by the way, is super good for things like Infinity Sunbell, for sure. Something along those lines will be pretty strong. One more hit on the Goblin, and then I want to look at the position after I redraw. Because there's a Puffball, I'm pretty sure, here. Yeah. What we want here in this spot is we want... 2 plus 4, it does kill Spike. Okay, I see it. We want Mini Mika to go on the same turn that the Sunglass Chime breaks. My hero's taking 2 plus 3, which is only 5, assuming I freeze the bulb head, which is perfectly fine. Uh, alternatively, I could go mini Mika here. No, I don't want her to take 2 poison, because then she'll die if she hits in the bulb head. Although she'll die if she hits in the bulb head anyway. And she will hit in the bulb head. Hmm. You know what? I'll play Spike. I see the line. I will play... One spike. This kills the puffball though. Ah, uh, you know what? A minus one multi kill either way. So it's probably better to go. Oh, but then the shrimp gobbler hits mini Mika. Okay, we can go here. Although three plus two is five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. Okay, it's fine. Lock in. Final answer. I'm pretty sure I get away with this. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Yeah, four is less than three. Okay, and all of this was to set it up so that I could go Mini Mika attacks on this turn and I break Sunglass Chime on this turn, which will kill all of these. It's a lot of min-maxing for sure, but I think it's worthwhile. And that, because Veiled Lady herself is unthreatening when you have Flask of Ink in hand. If you silence her on one, she will lose two full attacks into you. So assuming there's no more damage, which there isn't, I will just win the fight now. And I think that was worthwhile to get the extra, what was it, it was like $10 more? I don't hate that. 180 versus 170, sometimes I can buy an extra card off of that, which is nice. There's two big hits here for this deck. Number one biggest hit is Bomb Barrel, obviously. Uh, very cool. The number two hit, I know many people, people in the comments, uh, first of all, 
uh, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to change who I am, and I'm trying to not just feel like I'm at a constant war with the comments section. Uh, because everyone's been typing to me about fucking Zoom and wafers, and I'm sick of it. I'm real. T I just don't want to talk about it anymore. I've made my point, and then people uh, either purposely or accidentally misunderstand what I'm saying about Zoom and wafers, and then they write me fucking multi-paragraph essays, and my response is, "Yeah, that's not what I'm saying about this card." Uh, anyway, this run is super, super good for Zoom and wafers because the turn one of Lumen Vase Bomb Barrel into Zoom and Wafers 8 Junk into hitting Mini Mika for 8 Multi-Strike is obviously very, very good. I think that that is massive. However, I'm going to go to the Charm Machine because finding something to help Mini Mika attack faster is going to be very good too. There's lots of good hits. Also, we're super rich. Oh, the Charm. oh that is really good. Assuming I can find a buff card. Forging Stove. Man, it's all coming up. That's pretty nice. Snowcake as well. Someone told me on my stream the other day that there's a person on the subreddit for this game that just, or maybe, no, in the Discord, I think, that just thinks Snowcake is the worst card in the game, which is crazy to me. It's always crazy to hear opinions like that, I feel. Uh, this deck's biggest issue is that it's super, super crown hungry. Because I need a crown for Forging Stove, a crown for Mini Mika, a crown for whatever card I'm using Forging Stove on, a crown for Bomb Barrel, a crown for Lumen Vase, a crown for Zoom Lin Lay First. That's six crowns, which I think you can only get five. But nonetheless, I think you'd pick Forging Stove here anyway. Yeah, I think it's good. However, we don't want to barrage charm Mini Mika here because if I miss the setup to give her boosted attack, I'm fucked. This is Bamboozle. So I will play Spike. Yeah, I think so. We have all the pieces for this run to go absolutely ridiculous here. That's unfortunate. That's also unfortunate. This is a very un unsettling start. But we do have Junkhead. So there's an Im implied statement here when I crown Spike, which is that I'm going to let him die. Because I need to hide versus Bamboozle. This is actually a level of thinking I don't normally give myself. Sorry, just give me a sec. Let me, let me fully take this one in. Because there's a lot to, to look at here. I want to play Junkhead. I want to get... I need to get Mini Mika out. Not one. I need Mini Mika. She's all of my damage. And then I want the Junk onto Mini Mika. I want to kill this Snowbow. I want to... I want to maximize my time, basically. So I want to give myself whatever plays give me the most time. Because I'm far away from Mini Mika, I'm potentially two full draws away from her. So I'm definitely playing Junkhead. I'm pretty likely playing the Critical Snowzooka. I think I'm playing Sunglass Chime. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna play Sunglass Chime. I should Gear Hammer Bamboozle there. I'm gonna Gear Hammer Bamboozle. And then I'm gonna Snowcake the Cobbler. That's the play that gives me the most time. Oh, yuck. Okay. Snowcake on the Gobbler still. This is the part where I said, where when I crowned Spike, the implicit bargain was that I was going to let him die. I'm not putting my hero down to 2 HP for Spike, since I don't have healing. My hero could just get sniped by a snowbow. It's fine for Spike to die here. It's not a big deal. The only downside is I would have liked Junkhead to put this trash into my hand with Mini Mika on the board, but that's not a big issue. Okay, uh, here's Mini Mika. Again, I just need time. Six plus four into 
12 is 10. I want to kill this snowbow. Like, I, I might need to kill this snowbow. It might not be a want. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to bomb barrel. This is actually okay. Because getting my hero frozen here is pretty fortunate. Because I don't want to kill Bamboozle too quickly. So I just move my hero to go tank the snoof. I go hammer on snowbow. Yeah, hammer on snowbow. And this is the part where I'm very happy I put the snow cake on Gobbler on that one turn. Now we get to play Mini Mika. We have three turns before anything's happening. Here's normal Snowbow. Um, on this next hit, I need to let the Sunglass Chime take this seven. Is that right? I think so, because I have nothing I can do into the Snoof here. I could also kill Bamboozle, but it's not super good. It's also pretty hard to kill Bamboozle here. So I think we're just going to position thusly. It's going to go 7 here and here. You're going to swing. Um, they're going to phase change. This 1 goes here, and then this 6 goes here. Okay, that's not good. It should be this, then. We want Sunglass Chime here. Hero tanks the snoof hit. After he swings into Bamboozle, Mini Mika will deal a nice 6 to whoever comes at her. Winterworm takes the Junkhead one, Snowbow takes one off of Mini Mika. This is not a fight that's like, uh, so far anyway, this fight is not dangerous, it's just a lot of thinking to maximize how much time I have. Because it just takes a while for Mini Mika to get scaled, but once she's scaled, I think she'll just run this fight down. Is it better to go 3x2 or 2x3? 2x3 for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I counted all of this correctly. Let's we'll see if I was wrong about anything. Mm -hmm. We'll get six into Bam or Boozle. Either one, it doesn't really matter. All of that looks just about correct. Okay, so the main issue now is that I'm, I have no more health. We are now in a position where I need to get out of this fight. I have no more health to play with. This is all of my health left, 14 HP. And there's actually a decent amount of stuff still coming at me. So we need to shift our focus into getting out of here. And that's going to be done by getting Mini Mika to attack two more times. Is my belief. Uh, you can do... I think three times four is the play. It's... Junk on Mini Mika. Two to my hero goes to five. Sunsong Box, I believe, puts Mini Mika on the same turn timer as Winter Worm and Bam. What about three times three? Three times three is nine. Nine puts you to five. It's this double snow that's trouble. I just wonder if I want to redraw this hand quickly. These are all on six. Oh, this gets hard to see. Because you're on... You're you're effectively seven turns away from winning me the game. One Sunsong box puts you to six turns away from winning me the game. Which is equal to when I lose the game. I lose the game in six turns, I win the game in six turns. They have initiative, so I lose the game in six turns. I think it's gonna have to be Sunsong Box into Redraw. That's what it feels like. Because then I can hit Sunsong Box again. Ah, oh, the Zoomlin Junk. Doesn't do much, but it's here. Um... We can shift our understanding of the fight. I can say, what if I live six turns? Can I live six turns? Hammer, hammer, winter worm kills it.
Hmm. I think I basically need to draw a Sun Song box. Is the position. To get Mini Mika on a four turn timer. Yeah, I think it's redraw. How much is left? It's one in. I don't know what's in there. I don't have to care. I have enough money that all I have to do is survive here, and then we're in the clear. Um, I would like for Snowbo to hit my hero here so that in the worst of times, if I have to, I can have Mini Mika take a six. But there's no way to guarantee it, so I just have to redraw Bell and Pry. It's a 50 50. Okay, this draw is good. Nice, that's good. Now I think it's okay. There's a lethal in here. I'm almost sure of it. There's a way to win this fight. It's like Snowzuka on Boozle, right? Or no, sorry. Snowzuka on the Snoof. You're effectively three turns away from attacking and killing Boozle. If I Snowzuka the Snoof. Oh, but the Snoof is three turns away from hitting you and free freezing you. And it's a tie and the Snoof will go first. Okay, I think what we can play... I, the other option here for lethal is Bomb Barrel, top row. Uh, you're on three. Redraw Bell, you're on two. Um, Sun Song Box and Gear Hammer is two turns. So I just have to order it correctly? I think that's the line. It's got Bomb Barrel up here. You're on one. You're on zero. Mini Mika comes down here, tanks the snowbow hit. Uh, you're on three when the snowbow's attacking. You're attacking, my hero goes to one. Two, one, correct. Hero's on one. Well, let me let me go through this correctly. Let me, let me go step by step here. Snoof attacks this turn, three HP. Oh, first of all, I play Bomb Barrel. Uh, three HP, zero attack, doesn't matter. Turn timer's at four. Next turn, Boozle attacks for two. You're on a three, so you count down to two. You're on a four, counting down to three. You're on a four, counting down to three. Four to three, two to one. So you're attacking as well. Two damage into my hero, who's on one HP. Uh, or on, oh, sorry, at the time of being attacked, is on three HP, goes down to one. That's fine. One damage into Mini Mika, who goes from seven to six, also fine. I have pressed the redraw bell on that turn, so I'm not playing a card. I have you on two at the end of that turn. You're on two, you're on two. I played bomb barrel here, so these guys all have four bomb. The following turn is... So after that, you're on. You're back to two. You're on two? I think you're on two. Yeah, this, the, so the next attack, the attack where Snoof kills me, is four turns out, which is the same as Boozle. If I'm not mistaken, this line should be clear. So uh, count it count it like that. On the turn where after I've redrawn, you're on two, 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 and you're on two, right? It's all twos. They're all lining up. My first turn is Sun Song Box on Mini Mika. Mini Mika goes from two to one, attacks and kills Bam. Three times four is twelve into ten. That's correct. The turn after that, the final turn, is three damage gear hammer on the bamboozle who has four bomb, killing him. Okay, I'm sure. I'm like 100% of this play. I don't think there's anything they can do to me. Like I said, it's uh, it's definitely winnable, it's just a little tricky. And this is how Wild Frost differs from all the other card games, because you have to take a lot of time using all of the information you have because you have perfect information, you have to take this time to find your lethal. 
when you have all this information. And it gets a little bit challenging sometimes. Call in the bell for the last enemy because they drop money on death and done. That was a fun fight. This position is hard because I was greedy, though. Uh, this was hard because I played this super, like, conservative way to try to give myself a stronger late game. But I was confident I could do this, so it's fine. Curse Crown for sure. Oh, I also think I should probably turn one. I should not Crown Spike. I should Crown Mini Mika. But Crown Spike is better if Bamboozle is not the Durian Charmed one, but it's a lot worse if he is. So you can take Strawberry Charm, and it's not bad, because more HP is good for our team, since we're kind of fragile right now. You can also take... Uh, plus one card draw is pretty good for Clunk Masters in general. This charm is not very good. Uh, this is nothing. This is just a long-term play. I need short-term power. I think it's card draw plus one. The Strawberry Charm is also very viable there, though. I think you're not wrong to take Strawberry Charm if you want there. This is unfortunate. Wow, that sucks a lot. Okay. Oh well. Uh, Skaven is good. I will pick Skaven here. Gives me some power. Absolutely acceptable. I hate that I missed that bottom path, though. Very unfortunate. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go Normal Crown, Mini Mika... I think Cursed Crown Snowcake is not crazy. I also think you could Cursed Crown Bomb Barrel reasonably. Um, it's not super good. Into Infer or into King Moko here. What would I find to be most valuable? I really want to greed this crown. But I have to greet it two fights, which I absolutely cannot do. We are in danger right now of losing the run. And so we have to play accordingly. You know what I actually should do is I should just crown Skaven. This Cursed Crown is going to haunt me. Because I'm going to put it on something and then I'm not going to be happy about it. I don't want to Cursed Crown Snowcake here. But putting it on Bomb Barrel is super greedy. I don't even have the Zoomlin Wafers yet for it. But I want to put it onto a combo piece. I'm going to do it on Bomb Barrel. I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to do it on Bomb Barrel. Wow, that is really unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to have to silence that Grumps. Or I could just kill him with junk, I guess. Oh, I high rolled. Nice, that's super good. Getting Mini Mika in hand into these guys is very, very good. I have a bunch of time to just throw junk at her. Okay, big question. What do I want to do about Grump? So I want to silence him? I think I do want to silence him. I could do this. That's fine. Puts this guy to 7 on a... Yeah, 7 HP, 4 turn timer. I think he can't interrupt my turn if Minimika hits him enough. Ooh, I'm kind of scared of this. I don't know that. I think Minimika will finish her attack. I'm like 99% that this is how this works. Well, let's find out. I haven't been in this position before. Also, oh my god, we're gonna lose. Holy shit, I do not have the damage to clear this. This is so unfortunate. 16 HP Pepper Witch, 8 HP Pepper Witch, another Grumps. That is unlucky. Okay. I'm not going out like this. Yeah, okay, she does finish her attack. That's what I thought. We'll kill the Pepper Witch. Um, what's the tech here? What am I doing? Yeah. 
I mean, it's for sure junk, junk, mini Mika. It's like junk into Spike, I think. Spike is gonna get hit by Grumps for me. If I give Mini Mika enough attacks, I will eventually just one-shot King Moko. The problem is that this guy's in the way. So Skaven and Clunkface. Good name, I didn't even recognize this guy's name was Clunkface. These guys are gonna have to swing into the Grumps. Which I guess is fine. I don't necessarily need Spike to die here for fun. He can die to this Makoko, yeah. Okay, it is time to redraw though, for sure. Like, undoubtedly. Because I need to freeze this ASAP. Ah, and there's my plan. Gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Snowcake on Makoko. Definitely, because he's going to rip me apart next turn. Thank God for this deal 4 additional damage guy. Uh, 246. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I just slap Sunglass Chime in front of this Pepper Witch and I take lethal here. And if not, if this is wrong for some reason, I can just have Spike hit into the Moko head. But I think that this is super strong. Oh, I should have moved my hero down. Though. That was a misplay. Yeah. Okay. Good turn. I think that we were under real threat there if I don't draw Mini Mika turn one. Because I had a lot of time since those guys were super weak. But if I miss Mini Mika right away, I'm in trouble. So again, I should probably just have put my crown on Mini Mika. That is okay. I'm figuring it out. Proto Stomper for seven. It's actually kind of good to just click this card into the next fight, I think. I can just Proto Stomp right through a tentacle, which is nice. But I wonder if I'm adding too much garbage to this deck. It's tough because I'm like super crown hungry and I was forced out of a crown. It is unfortunate. If there's no crown in the final area, you're going to want to mute the video. I'm going to become insufferable for a bit. I'm going to take Proto Stomper. I think it is the right choice. I'm rich. I'm going to go remove two. It's definitely Gear Hammer. Gear Hammer here. And then Charm. Lumen Rank. Oh, Goat Charm is pretty good. Actually, that's super good. That's super, super good. Goat Charm Mini Mika strong. Okay. Just pray for Zubin Wafers with me now. All this run needs for salvation. One silly little Zoomlin Wafer. Fun bit idea. When I hit into the tentacle, I stop talking for three turns because I'm silenced. That'd be a good one. But then someone new to the content would watch and go, why does this guy just randomly shut up for a while? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, I need to step on the otaku. It's fine for my hero to swing into the tentacle and get silenced for three. I don't actually care. Killing this guy is super good. Skaven tanks two, hits five back. This is only six damage, though. I do have to consider. Okay. Uh, what's the idea here? It's probably silence on Uba Bear. If I were to just take a guess. I think it's going to be a silence on Uba Bear. Yeah, and if you have a unit like Skaven into the Otakus, it's actually a much easier fight. Because he can just sit here and tank this thing forever. It is no threat if it's not getting silence value. Yeah, I'm going to be hitting into the Uba Bear here for sure. That is a horror. But if I hit into Uba Bear, it's two and then four, and then you hit into the Octo Boom. Ah oh, man. But like I have, okay, I can do Mini Mika here, and I can put a Snow Cake on Uba Bear. Because I don't want Mini Mika to get silenced while she's still scaling. And I can tank three to all from Kraken if I have to. It's the only thing that's actually doing damage for four turns. Uh, Operation Eliminate Uba, or actually I could just go for 10 plus 2 into the Kraken. It still will attack me unless I press redraw, and um, there's nothing else to snowcake in this position. 
Oh, uh, no. I can go snow cake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I draw seven cards. He's on three. We're on four. Seven cards. He's on two HP. Um. This is super close. So, the position here is that seven out of eight times I draw a gear hammer, and then I just kill the Kraken. I guess it's fine, right? It's not like I'm gonna... It's not like I'm gonna hit two damage into Uba Bear here and freeze my hero for fun, right? Like, why would I do that? If I take three to all, I take three to all, I think is the sentiment. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more junk on Mini Mika before I send the roll. Ah, look at that. You know, you, you prep for the worst case because sometimes it happens. Now, uh, what did I think about when I thought about this? I thought about the 5 by 3 damage to all. Not that bad here. I don't really care. I can also kill him with Spike, which is nice. I do have to disarm Dr. Uba Bear. Uh, I could, since I'm scaled on Mini Mika, I could kill the Octo Boom here, and then I only have to take 3 to 1. But Mini Mika's only doing 10 damage then, which is not very good. Hmm. I'm okay with that, actually. Or. Nah, you know what? I'll take the 3 doll. I think it's fine. Good work, Agent Spike. Keep it up. I'm not really afraid of this fight, but I don't feel a need to sit it out either. Like, I can just get out of here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, two, and then every hit after is four, so you do 18. I can take exact lethal here if you want. How about three times five? That's a lot better. I don't know if it's going to give me a multi-kill or anything, but I'm good to just leave this one. I have the money to just kind of send it and go. Uba Bear kind of shuts me out of multi-killing there. Uba Bear plus the silence machine. Actually, I could have I could have hit if I had silenced Uba Bear, but I redrew off of the silence, so it was fine. And I missed as well, but it wasn't a big issue. Like I said, I don't care if I miss there. I go treasure. We're looking for Zoomlin wafers. Gotcha, Pomper. ICGM. Ah, shit. I hit the wrong one. Ah, fuck. I crowned Bomb Barrel, and then I hit the other one. I hit the other piece, which is ICGM. In this position, by the way, I know it's crazy, but it's not Gotcha Pomper. I know. I know. This is the God card. But here's the position. I have Barrage Charm, and this is plus 10 attack, assuming I get a crown. I might go without a crown, but I don't know. That doesn't happen to me. Is it ever? What does I? What am I duplicating here? I think it could be. Uh, it could be sunglass chime. It could also just be ICGM. This guy's good. Two chump. I'm gonna take a second, Snowzooka, I think. Crunker. Sun Cream's whatever. Let me see a charm first before I make any calls. Gorgeberry charm. That can go on Mini Mika, actually, pretty reasonably. Take her to 4 HP, but up to 6 damage. Six is a lot. That's a huge spike. Um, let me get another charm first before I make any calls. Right, we gotta get all of our information before we make any choices here. Hell. Oh, interesting. I'm not taking sun cream. I don't think. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play. I have my lumen base. Yeah, I think we are not under much threat in this fight. I'm pretty sure I will win this. That's my stance. 
dude. I told, I said it, I said it like 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna put a curse crown on Bomb Barrel and then I'm gonna regret it. I wish I didn't have to put this cursed crown here, but I needed it for that fight. This the the King Moko fight was very different if I didn't have the cursed crown, I believe. It made killing it, it made my turns much better because I was able to put Mini Mika out and put a bunch of junk on her. So I don't regret it too much. Like it was a necessary evil, basically. I had to do it. Am I how confident am I that I will kill Krunker from this position? The only thing I don't love is I don't have healing. But I'm pretty sure that I kill Krunker from here. I'll do the uh Okay, because I really want to wait, because if there's like a Chuckle Charm after Krunker, I guess I could put one of these on. I could put on Scorchberry Charm. I think that's pretty reasonable. Because I would never go Heart Charm, then Scorchberry Charm. I would always go Scorchberry Charm first. And if I'm going... And then the Heart Charm is going to go here after Skaven takes the two. It's going to go on my hero. I think it's fine like this. Yeah, so I would always go this way and then Barrage. And if I get Chuckle Charm, I'd rather have 9, 6 than, what is it? It would be 13 down to 7. You could be a 7, 8. I'd rather be a 9, 6. With Demonize, for sure. Okay, let's run it. Again, this is just greeting through the mid-game, I think, to give myself an optimized finish. Holy Grinkoli. Oh, I did see this comment, by the way, so I want to address this one for you, in case you're newer to the game. When you're in the crown phase, you cannot play generated cards. They had to make this change because Bomb Barrel Mini Mika used to just solo the whole game. It was not a fair fight. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta do something about the Grinkoli here. It, again, we are just in a position of how do I buy myself the most time. I think it is Snowzooka Grink. My hero can then kill off the Grink if I throw one card at it. I think I will throw Lumen Vase on Mini Mika. And then the idea here, we don't want to spend Snowzooka. Mini Mika will just clean out whatever spawns in next. very reliably. It's the good part about being five turn timer is if you have someone else who can give you a nice early start like this. This is unfortunate for sure. Super, super unlucky, but not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's not too bad because I have a bunch of time, right? It's not the end of the world. But this guy does beat me down. I have to play Sunglass Chime into him, I think. He has a ton of health and he's getting super buffed by Ice Forge. And my hero can't just solo. Yeah. I don't actually want to Sunglass Chime into him though. Uh, maybe I do, because if I don't, Mini Mika can't kill him anytime soon. He's going to have to swing again. I guess, actually, I could just send the ICGM at him. Uh, I let him hit it twice. Yeah, I don't care about that, actually. That isn't bad. Did I drop both Snowzookas? I did. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, three turns. Okay. I need to put I can play one junk on Mini Mika and then I need to redraw. You gotta think about if you need to press redraw immediately here, because if another spike ball spawns in here, it would be a little ugly. My hero could take the five, but probably I actually you know what I don't think I should have done that. Because what if I miss on silence, right? It's a little bit icky, I do believe. I think I'm okay to just leave the spike wall alone for now. I don't need to play Skaven, I don't need to play Spike. I can kill Ice Forge over a few turns. Mini Mika is about to run the table here. I'm gonna crush. One thing I could do is Sunglass Chime into the spike wall, actually. I think that doesn't sound too terrible. 
I get really far ahead if I make this play. Eight hits Sunglass Chime. Sunglass Chime goes immediately. The only thing I don't know is if it goes in between enemy, sm uh, enemy attacks, like if they have Frenzy. But Mini Mika will go as soon as the Gobbler attacks and hits into Sunglass Chime. I can play Skaven here. So the ICGM will gain Frenzy, he'll, so he'll attack twice in the spike wall. Oh no, he won't. He'll die. I Actually, I don't know. Here's a good one. Does ICGM get smack backed? I, I think it will. It'll go one hit, smack back, one hit, smack back is how it would, how it would play. So I will go Skaven here. And he'll kill the spike wall. Yeah, that's correct. Five, six, seven. Go crazy, Mini Mika. And then I don't have to respect Krunker. Oh, because he's dead. I thought... I didn't realize Minimiko was just swinging on this turn as well. Super fine. Don't mind if I do. Ron... Oh, there's three more enemies still. Wow. I didn't know that. I thought we were close to the finish line. Don't mind a junk here. I'd probably want to kill the Ice Forge soon. But I don't have a great play for it. I'm going to play Junkhead, so I have another junk here. And a Chump Blocker. It's kind of up to Krunker here on what he does, though. Yeah, that's a little bit icky. Wow. That's not great. <laughs> that's a 7 damage Grink. Uh, holy grink Oli to that one, for sure. What's in here? I got Forging Stove, Proto Snobber. Oh, I can just take Lethal. Okay. I think it's going to make a lot of sense to just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know, I wasn't even thinking about Proto Stomper as a card for my Forging Stove, by the way. It completely didn't occur to me to Forging Stove Proto Stomper into Mini Mika. Not that I can. I'm still out of crown. But, you know, definitely something I should have thought of. Squid Charm is interesting. Definitely an interesting pickup. I am going to take the Charge Bell. Moko Charm isn't all that good here. It's weird because I feel great dopamine when I see it, but I like... Squ Squid Charm, it's not crazy because I could put it on Bomb Barrel and then it would barrage two ink to whatever I attack on turn one. That's kind of nice. But two ink doesn't really do anything on turn one. So I think I will just take leader health. I think it's nice, it's safe, it's easy. And there's a charm merchant. I'm hunting for one chuckle charm. No chuckle charms. Goat totem. <laughs> uh, good one. Loose charm, bomb charm. These are good. Gnome charm is interesting. Not very interesting, but it's something. This is probably just a skip. I don't really think I want any of this. Without Chuckle Charm, I can't play it. And without plus one Charm slot, it doesn't matter. So, it's okay. I think from this spot, it's very much reasonable to just... Well, let's think about it. Am I worried about the crabs at all? I don't think so. I've come this far greeting this Pomegranate Charm. I can go a little further. I'm not really under duress from these guys. I think I go so far as to take off the snow cake. So I can't believe I'm going to miss this Zoomlin wafers, though. It's very disappointing. It's not crazy to crown Spike here. Oh, uh, but I should definitely put my hero up plus 5 HP. That's for sure going there now. These cards are a little bit zoomed in, huh? running through it in my mind a little bit on the final fight. I think Mini Mika should devastate. Pretty sure. Oh, Spike. That's my fucking goat. That's him, dude. That's him. He's him. He's him. That's huge. What a draw. And I've got a snow cake for the crab, which is good as well. If I... The big hit here, which is uh, very much a winning play, winning pickup, is Infinity Sun, though. 
That's what I'm hoping for. Two turns out, I gotta make sure I stay ahead. I gotta put Spike and then Snowcake on El Crab. This fight isn't as big of a concern as I think it used to be for me. Because one of the reasons I was picking Spike so much was because he's so good into this fight. He simplifies it very much for you. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Um, I'm probably just gonna silence on the crab, huh? I think it's gonna make a lot of sense to make my life easier and just kill this Teeth Charm, Sun Charm crab. I think that's pretty reasonable. Send you to kill the Burster. And we just keep scaling Mini Mika until she clears whole fights. Because I'm under no threat here. There's no actual concern of death. So why wouldn't I take more time to jump? Someone told me I haven't actually verified this myself. You know what? I will verify this myself. Hold on. Let me take a look. Um, it's under... Where are the bells? I know I've seen them somewhere. I swear I thought that. I thought you could see the bells. Huh. I guess not. Never mind. Someone told me there are 11 sun bells in the game now, and you see 10 of them in a run. I haven't checked to be sure that's correct. It makes sense to me. So, in a run like this, be, I guess at this point it's just a 4 out of 5. They're going to show me 4 bells and there's 5 left I can see. So I don't actually know... Well, I guess not guaranteed or anything, but it's fairly likely. It's like an 80% to pull the sun bell at the end. Because it was 3 out of 11 to see it at the first point. Then it was... It might, might have been 4 out of 11, and then 3 out of... Yeah, I think it's 4 out of 11 at the first one. 3 out of 7, and then... No, that's not right. Is it? Oh, it's 4 out of 11, 3 out of 8, and then 4 out of 5. Got it. I had to rerun the numbers for myself. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Where am I? You're on a 6. I just play Sunglass Chime. The whole point of this is that I can stack up 22 attacks with Mini Mika here, and then she just runs the table and makes me a lot of money. I think we gear hammer here. Although, it's not crazy. I think it, it won't kill Numskull, because he's got enough block. Uh, it'll do pretty well. Yeah, it'll just take his block out. Go get a Mini Mika. Hope you like the sound of Demon Eyes being applied. And that's where Sunglass Chime really shines, when you draw it late like that, and it just goes crazy. This is a gobbler. A gobbler didn't spawn in. Sorry, not gobbler. Gobbling. Gobblers aren't here. My mistake. Anyway, I'm gonna hit this guy for a little money. I get three turns of money out of him. That's not bad. Go get him, champ. And... I'm done. Okay, I mean, great fight. We're definitely to the end of the run now. We're in the end game for sure. When you get your mini Mika doing this, you can usually feel pretty safe. It was a long road to get here, though, but I still have a barrage coming up for her, too. Oh, thank god, I'm not crown screwed. Ooh. All right, ready? Ready? Zoom on me first. Right here. Game sucks. I don't need Molten Dip here. Portable Workbench is whatever. Blaze Tease, whatever. Ready? 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 Zoom on wafers. Sorry? Zoom on wafers. God damn it, man. Unfucking lucky. There's a Lumen Lantern here, which is interesting, at least. We should consider that. Cake Charm. Man! Man! It's, it's Cake Charm, Lumen Vase, Bomb Barrel, and I didn't hit my Zoom on wafers. God, that sucks. Oh, man. That's such a shame. I mean, we're gonna fucking obliterate the final boss here, though. They are going to disintegrate into their component atoms. I'm not even gonna bother with Forging Stove, because Bomb Barrel is going to give me so much damage 
that it actually just doesn't matter. Because I have the two crowns to go Lumen Vase, Forging Stove, uh, ICGM. Or no, I have enough to go Forging Stove, ICGM, right? I don't think I need to. I think I can just go, like, Snow Cake, honestly. Because I go Cake Charm, Bomb Barrel. Oh, you know what? It can be Sunglass Chime. It's definitely Sunglass Chime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, do I want Lumen Lantern? Not sure. Let me think about it. Do I want Lumen Lantern? No, I don't think so. Because you need a crown for it, and I just don't really have the crown economy. Bling charm. Disappointing. I could play Lumen Lantern over Lumen Vase turn one. Mini Mika gets two when I mean, it's the same as Lumen Vase, effectively. But then I can Lumen Vase Mini Mika to four Frenzy. That does sound kind of good. Okay. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, and then not this one. It's this one over to here. I can move the snow cake crown. I think it's pretty viable. First of all, we're going to go Barrage Mini Mika. I did my best for you, and I, I tried my best to get something super crazy. I guess we have this, actually. It didn't fully click until I was looking. I can do this. You know what? I think that's acceptable. I think that looks alright. It's a shame it wasn't Cake Charm Bomb Barrel, though, I gotta say. Okay, last crown. It goes to... It doesn't go to Snow Cake in this fight. It goes to... Uh... Where does this one go? You know what? We can do Lumen Vase. It's fun. Ready to watch me walk into this fight and just get absolutely annihilated for my greed? Oh, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. What's well, the Bigfoot's a little problematic? I suppose. Oh! Sorry, it just clicked. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Um. Well. Let's see what happens first before I make any more assessments. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. I think I need to kill that. I actually think I need to, as much as I'd love the Lumen Vase Mini Mika and gain 12 Frenzy every hit, I think I'm gonna make the safe play. I know, but <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully you can understand why I need to do this. Okay. I could always silence him, too. It's just, uh, that's a big number, isn't it? I just killed Bigfoot. Oh, I should use the junk on him, because I want to kill Ice Forge too. Uh, you'll kill Rock Hog for me. Yeah, it's fine. I'm greeting six Frenzy Mini Mika. I'm gonna take four. My hero's 18, though, so it's not a big issue. The only thing that stops me from just one turn killing the Frost Guardian through both phases is Uba Bear. And I mean that sincerely. I would one shot this Frost Guardian 100% if it weren't for Uba Bear. I'll just see what happens before we make any calls. Let me take a screenshot or two for the thumbnail. I'll be right back. Okay, now then, let's do the math, shall we? What do I want to do in this position? That's your question. There's basically one correct answer. Well, I actually think it's kind of wrong. I was going to say I should just silence the Frost Guardian, right? But I could just ignore it. Everything else is dying anyway. Yeah. 
I haven't done the math fully, but I think that if I go junk on Mini Mika, I'm going to be pretty happy. There's no, like, smackbacks or anything like that here. So she can just go hit her 19 hits. And then if she hits Uba Bear, I'm not counting this, by the way. I have no idea. If she hits Uba Bear, I play Sunglass Chime. I just redraw for it, and we find our lethal. You fucking bitch. <laughs> God damn you, Uba Bear. That's, you know, if you're keeping score, score one for Uba Bear. No denying it here, he fucking got me. Absolutely, he got me here. I think it's pretty hard to whiff and die from this position. One plus two is only three. I am going to... Wait a turn. I'll play like Skaven, I guess. I should put Skaven here. That's all. It's just I'm playing safe on this turn because I don't want to have any accidents. Oh, also, gonna be worthwhile to consider just not letting this Uba Bear swing into Sunglass Chime. I don't know 100% what'll happen. Ah, you know what? I'm being too afraid. Eh. I know what's gonna happen. I think that this is like a guaranteed lethal and I'm just fucking around. There's no way Minimika doesn't kill the Frost Guardian here. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking about this and I'm going, well, what if hits into the Sunglass Chime, Minimika attacks, kills everything, more enemies spawn in, a spike wall pops up and then kills Minimika. That's impossible. That literally cannot happen. Oh, and then Minimika goes plus 10. Gaven kills Uba Bear. Everything dies. It's not close. I've played Wild Frost before. I know how the interactions work. I don't know why I'm sitting there acting like that's not just instant lethal. But the, the answer is, it is for sure lethal is what it feels like, but you're not able to be certain in this game. And I, I don't know. I wanted to take someone that had no uncertainty. Yes, Infinity Sun Belly, yes. Thank God. Uh, none of these do anything. You go back to Sun, no, uh, sorry. I was going to say you could go Sun Bell of Strength. You cannot go Sun Bell of Strength. Do not. Here, I'll take one more consume, I guess. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's optimize now for winning this run, shall we? I think that Lumen Base is very cool and fun, and I'm going to throw it away now and just play the Snow Cake. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to throw it away now, and I'm going to put a crown on Sunglass Chime that's the winner like that that is for sure the way that you guarantee this victory even though it's a little less exciting it is definitely the idea though because you just go like mini mika lumen lantern plus nine by the way need my hero to tank the minus two and then Sunglass Chime goes here. And like, undeniably, this is our best play. Drawing a freeze to freeze the Crusher is very nice. Because my hero can tank a little bit. And I did play a consume already, so the Junker will go plus one here. But in four turns, I'm going to win the game. That's my plan. So I'm going to play four cards here. I'm going to play Snowzooka. No. Ah, that's a trick. So if you play if you play Snowzooka over Snowcake to try to save one HP on your hero, you're setting up to have to either play another snow card or lose Mini Mika to a bomber. Both of which outcomes are not very good. So I will play Snowcake on the Crusher, Lumen Vase on Mini Mika, Junk, Junk, Lethal. Definitely. Two damage doesn't bother me. Bomber hits a 5 into the Sunglass Chime. This is why we crowned it, so that I would always have it on turn 1 to uh, let Mini Mika attack before anything else goes. Not that it really ends up mattering too much. I would have been able to go another round or two, but, you know. I think that if I take Mini Mika up to X25, I will probably win. I think, uh, was it? It's 4 and then 8 times 24. That looks pretty good. 
I have to say. 134 demon eyes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I had 7 extra attacks there. Yeah. It's just strange because, like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but in the back of my mind, I feel like I'm uh, copping out with that play because I could have done more. I could have done... I could have made that attack go even bigger, but... I just kind of took the victory. It feels strange, but I mean, I guess a win's a win, so whatever. But I, I'm inside of me. There are two wolves. A win's a win, and man, I could have made Mini Mika hit like a hundred times if I just stalled the fight. But if you stall the fight, you can lose, and I would then feel very silly. Also, I've made Mini Mika hit like seventy times in the past, so it's kind of like a whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.